Hi everyone, so today in this video, I'm gonna show you how does the WL2026 Elementary robot works. So the purpose of this video is for education. Remember, this robot is not for sale, it's only for education purposes. And also, my goal is to inspire everyone to start the season early and to start preparing for the WL2026 mission. So let's get started with the robot base itself. So we have been using this base since the EVG time in 2018. The robot base is pioneered by my friend Alex from Red Robot Russia, where they created a robot base that is very low to the ground. So as like a sport car, the lower you go, the more stable it is. Same as WRO, we want our robot to be low to the ground so that when it moves, it's consistent and it's stable. Next also, the wheel is positioned at the center of the robot. After we add the attachment in front, like the robot here, you can see the wheel is in the middle of the robot. This helps with programming later when you are doing turning to grab stuff so you know that every time you can stop the robot on the line and when it turns you know that the things are in the middle of the robot next is the color sensor itself we place the sensor around six to seven start away from the center of the wheel this helps the consistency when it is following the line it's like a pendulum if the pendulum is too short it's very hard to stable but if it's too long, it would take too much space. So let me code a line follow example for you to see the differences between placing the sensor here and also placing the sensor here with the same code. Let's start coding. Create a new file, select coding and then name it follow line. Make sure to select the correct hub we are using the spike hub create so first let's define the sensor handle in port a we have motor on the c and motor on the d all right so to follow a line, we will loop this forever with our true. Inside, we will calculate the error first. This is the this is the differences of the sensor from the middle of the line. Next, we do the correction. I'll put zero point three for now. Then we want to start our motor. So use duty call to for a smoother line follow movement. Let's define a speed on top, 50 speed, speed plus correction. So remember the way that we build our robot, the left when it goes forward, it goes in a counterclockwise direction. So there's a few ways, but to make things clearer, I will bracket it and multiply a negative one. Put the D, DC, speed minus correction. With that, the follow line is done. Let's connect to the robot. Okay, let's see if it works. Yep. So as you can see, the sensor is close to the wheel now, so it's wiggling back and forth because the correction is too, uh, the sensor is too close. Let's, let me move this to the front and try that again with the same code. As you can see, it's a little bit more consistent. All right, I will add the response seems like this is not enough let's make it 0 0.5 and try again yeah so it's better as you can see all right so you see when it's going from the white it's kind of slow but it's when it's at the black it's kind of fast 
So one thing we can do is we can view the sensor itself. Let me just hold it. 430 plus 10 60. So the center should be 35. Let's try it. Yep, so now it responds quickly from the black and the white also. Okay, let's try that again with the sensor close to the wheel. Let's go. So you see the response is kind of slow, right? It takes a longer time to find the line. And when it's find it, it's find it hard to come out of the line. So one more time when it is in front. Yep, so much better. All right. So this is how we follow the line. All right, let's move on to the uh, attachment we have. So the attachment at the back is for the cable only, which is consistent, but we can do something better in the future. There's room for upgrades so let's let us take some time to look at the front so the front is a little bit complicated because we use a few gears in front to make the movement of the arm open and close together like this all right but to keep things simple the motor will turn the gear here and this gear turn this and then it transfer the rotation to both sides of the arm with this part from the Lego and then we convert the rotation from uh, going horizontally to uh, going forward like this so when it turns it converts the rotation to here and towards the front let's look at that turning this open and close open and close all right we also added something in front. This is just to hold any object. When it comes in contact, it's straight. If we don't add here something here, the things might collapse when it hits. So we added just a tiny attachment in front to hold it in place. Like this. So when it hits, it's straight. You see that? Right, it doesn't fall down. All right, and then lastly, we have the sensor at the side. So this is used to scan the color when we are going down the notes. So after scanning, we will remember the position. And then after we come back, we will go towards the correct color to collect it. So this is how the elementary mission uh, robot works. So do continue to stay tuned for more updates. And remember, this is for education purposes. So let us continue to inspire others and continue to learn together in this journey. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe for upcoming videos. Thank you.